You too. Okay, let's get it. First thing first, once my camera gets together. First thing first I want to talk about is dealing with pain, man. And I'm telling you, I went through that today. You know, I think I'm not talking about just any, they're obviously mental pain and the pain of just going on every single day. I know at some point, and it has happened to me, it, it seems like sometimes life gets meaningless. Like when you really see things pass, like just, oh, I just want to make money or I just want to be rich. Oh, I just want to be, I want to be in shape. Oh, I want to do this. It's like at some point I've gotten to this point where some, every now and then, I'm not going to lie to you guys, every now and then I, uh, y'all like my water bottle? I know it's not the most manly looking thing. And I'm drinking out of very manly either. <laughs> but sometimes I get to this point where it's just like, man, it's just hard to want to keep waking. I, I wouldn't say like waking up every day. I would want to say like, it gets tough to keep thinking like, hmm, today's going to be worth it. You know, it's just like, man, it's just because you don't know. You have no idea where you're going to come and go in this life. And it's so hard for me sometimes to get to the point where it's like, man, if I don't know when I'm going to live or die, it's hard for me to always give my all to something it's like if i knew i was gonna die in 50 years i would spend the next 40 years 49 years grinding it out and then when I, at that 50 year i would mourn and grieve and say goodbye to my friends and family and enjoy my last year but it's like when you don't know it's like man i i, I get to this point where sometimes i i'm gonna lie sometimes i feel hopeless it's like what can i do like if i give my all to something and then i just end up dying anyway it's like i'm not i'm not sad that i died i'm just more like dang i just wish i would have just not done it you know it's just like it's hard to do that the only thing i can find myself putting any effort towards is like standing up against pornography and uh standing up against things that i feel like you know it's uh sexual things that have really ruined our young men's minds so that's the only thing i can see pointing towards but like going to college even though i'm in college now it's hard to like find a motivation to do it sometimes because like what if i do all this for nothing man i mean it's just but at the same time it's a control thing. I want to be able to control when I live, when I die. I want to control when I make it, when I don't make it. Hold on, guys. I got to brush my beard. I want to control when I live, when I make it, when I don't make it. And it's just kind of frustrating because I, I, I keep putting all these expectations um, on life as if there's something I can actually do about it and there isn't. I just have to get to this place where I can just be like, well, well, it's what it is. I got to learn to move on and uh, continue on with my life and just let all of that go. But it's, it's super hard, man. It's, it's really hard to just deal with the pain of knowing that sometimes, no matter what you do, um, in the grand scheme of things, it matters, but it doesn't. Like, if I feel like if you can't find a place to help people or really build relationships, if you just try to live for money and accolades and stuff like that that stuff gets so meaningless after a while it's because because let's say you win a super bowl right it's a mem the memory you have is not the, really the super bowl it's the memories you form with your teammates it's all the hardships you went through with your family and every all the all the stuff you have to go through to, i don't know what's going on my camera guys hold on yeah my lighting is looking super weird but uh all the stuff that you have to go through to make all these things happen and it just seems like you have to fi find a way to keep on going and i feel like even with myself and i think this is what's really been affecting me it's just the fact that where i live man it's just not a, i don't have a whole lot of friends so it's hard to really build those relationships and build that that um that that following and love for somebody because it's really not there most of the day you know I don't have anybody to hang out with. The only people I see is people I see online, right? And don't get me wrong. Being online is fun. There's good times I have. I have a great time getting on here on live streams and everything like that. But, you know, it's just like, even when I get off the live stream, sometimes I think to myself, like, man, we're just going to get off here, maybe watch some YouTube and go to sleep. It's just like, it seems like I don't have anything to look forward to a lot of days. Um, or a lot of things don't get me excited like they once did. This goes back to, like I said earlier, sometimes I feel like life is meaningless. Sometimes I know there's meaning to it. Like when it comes to people and teaching and educating, I definitely see that. But when it's like waking up the man, I can't wait to get this brand new truck. It's like, a new. I know 
the truck really isn't doesn't really mean that much to me like having a nice truck is cool but you know once i started dealing with the anxiety and once i got off the drugs it's hard to find a true happiness man like it's hard for me to get up and get excited like man i can't wait to get this new truck but i'm gonna die so what is i mean this truck only means something as long as i'm alive and i don't know i just don't find the joy that i once did and stuff the numbers the people um the things i used to love to do i just i just lost all that I'm hoping one day I can get back with that joy, but the only way I've been actually trying to deal with this pain today, honestly, is just <coughs> finding joy in the little things, laughing a little more, watching stupid stuff, um, trying to be there for people, and, and also getting in here and educating and having a good time with you guys. I feel like if I don't do this kind of stuff, it's the kind of stuff that kind of leads me to rain, and I just kind of feel like I'm lost and purposeless. So this is what I live for now. This is kind of how I deal with any pain or any of those negative thoughts. Um, knowing that there's nothing I can do. I do the best I can to be as healthy as I can. I work out and eat less and do that kind of stuff. Uh, but also, continue to educate people, man. And continue to talk about the stuff that makes me passionate. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes making these kind of videos, I'm a little less passionate. not going to lie. Um, when I'm making these kind of videos, sometimes I feel a little less passionate than when I'm talking about like um, talking to young men about the effects of porn and all that kind of stuff. It's a lot easier to get into it, but I do understand that I have to mix it up and I have to uh, talk about other things, man. I really do. Um, but honestly, just dealing with the pain of life and death, I just have to accept it. And that's what I've done. I don't take the little things for granted. When I'm around people, I try to laugh, I try to smile. I try to act goofy sometimes, like, cause it's like, why not? It's like, why not just be myself instead of just sitting here all doom and gloom? Cause it's very easy to get stuck in your mind and be that person who sits in the corner in the dark and doesn't talk to anybody. Um, it's very easy for me to do that, but I, I try my best. Even if some days I fake it, you know, some days I, I, I pretend to be happy, it's okay. I'm cool with that. So some days I really just get up with people and I just talk to them. And I laugh and I joke and I just enjoy life. I know one day this is going to be over and there'll be something better on the other side. But as of, as of right now, this is all I know. I don't know any other experience but the life I have right now. Um, so when I try to deal with the pain and the anxiety and the, the you know, the panic that comes on sometimes, I, you just get through it and just thank God for another hour, another day, another second to make somebody else's life better, including my own. I try to make my own life better. If I... I sometimes try to see outside of myself. It's like, well, what can I do to cheer myself up? And that may come with the video. That may come with, you know, enjoying a nice meal. That may come with working out. And those are the kind of things that I care about. And so it's just always going to be a grind, um, fight against the uh, stereotypical, just be depressed and deal with it. I don't want to be that guy. I want to actually sit back and enjoy life for what it is and laugh and giggle and cry and all this stuff and this is honestly i also got to know that there's some times in my life where it's just not going to be flowers and rainbows there's just going to be times in my life this may be this last year has just been one of those times where it's not going to be like that for me but i i take the lessons that i'm going to learn in these times and and run with them like what did i learn about being so depressed what did i learn about being really anxious what did i learn in these situations what i've learned is to cherish every moment what i've learned is to um that i can't control a whole lot except for what i can including my health, um, my attitude, and uh, the way I treat people. Those are stuff that I can control, and I do the best I can with that. But outside of that, man, there's not much I can do. So I'm not, I can't sit every day worrying and just being sad. It's like take the happiness, take the suffering, and take the, the mental anguish that comes with just being a human and just ride with it. Um, and I don't try to avoid it either. One thing, I, The one thing I do to deal with pain, I don't run from it. I don't... I don't sit around going, you know what, what was me and oh my life sucks. I'm just going to do nothing. I just roll with the punches. I roll with the fact that I'm scared some days. I roll with the fact that I don't want to keep living some days. I just roll with those things, but I talk it out. I cry. I don't hold it in, guys. I, 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 I really talk with people. I go to meetings and stuff like that, and I talk to people. I cry. I open up, and I'm honest, you know, and I listen to other people's stories. Not always easy, but that's the way to do it. If you're gonna live this life, it's just, it just, you just gotta find something outside yourself besides, and like I said, go get the money, go get the bag, right? Go chase fame if you really want it that bad. I'm not against any of those things. All I'm saying is just don't look for that kind of stuff to fulfill you 
in the end because it won't. Only thing that's going to fulfill you is the relationships you had with people and honestly, the relationship you have with God. So that's just kind of how I've been dealing with the pain and I've been dealing with it today. Uh, sometimes it's like I said, it feels great. Some days it feels awful and it's hard, but that's just the truth. All right. Short talk. Peace.